everybody to answer a frequently asked question, where do you find broadcast? How do you start it? And what does it do? And I'm so glad you asked. So from the home screen of your panel, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate into your app section. So you'll see that over in your six pack. I'm going to go ahead and tap apps. When I do that, all of my downloaded and let's say preloaded apps that are on my panel are going to pop up. The one that I am looking for, it is a purple box and it says New Line Broadcast. So that is the box I'm going to choose because that's the application I want to start. So I'm going to go ahead and tap New Line Broadcast. I'm going to take just a moment and you'll see this almost like a welcome window. And what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to start your broadcast. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And then the full kind of welcome login window will appear. So very handy here. You are always going to be using the exact same website. It will be broadcast.online. However, your broadcast ID is what's going to change. So as you start new broadcasts throughout your day or day to day, your broadcast ID will always change. That's one of those security measures, which is very handy to have. Anybody that you want to get logged in, they will just go to broadcast.online, enter in the broadcast ID, and then they will get a full screen view of what's happening on your panel. Kind of like what you see here in the studio, <clears throat> you can see that kind of shrunk down view of just my panel. That is essentially a broadcast, which is very, very handy. So broadcast, uh, incredibly great for all sorts of different reasons. First one, I'll say I'm going to do a shout out to Miss Kathleen. She is our Clark County, Nevada trainer. Uh, she is both a new line trainer and was a new line user. So she has some really great pro tips. Uh, but for her, she really liked this for students that may have IEPs that say they need to be center of instruction. Because what that allows is it allows you to have some flexibility. So your students can go ahead, they can get logged into the broadcast on their personal device, but now they are center of instruction because you only have so many seats in that T-zone. Uh, so you may have folks that you know need to be in the back of the room. Maybe you have a student that broke their leg and you want them propped up in the back of the room so nobody runs into them. But they have that IEP that says they need to be center of instruction. Well, great thing about this, now that they're logged in, everything that's happening on the panel is happening on their device right in front of them. So really, really amazing. Another great pro tip, Another version of why or another reason why broadcast is so handy, and this is one of my favorites, is thinking about you're introducing a new topic. Maybe you're doing something that's a little bit more advanced or you know that you have those students and they're fantastic. They take great notes, but oh my goodness, they take all the notes. I was, I was that student. Um, but really nice now that they can go ahead, they can get logged into the broadcast on their personal device. They have the ability to take screenshots so they can save those right away. You know nothing's going to get lost in translation because they're truly taking a screenshot of whatever you're doing here on the panel, which is fantastic. They can pan around, they can zoom in, great for low vision. And they have the ability to annotate on their device if they want to add notes on top of your content that will just be visible to them. Once your students get logged in or anybody else that does need to get logged in is into the platform, all you need to do is just go ahead and close this welcome box because you'll get this small little box. Uh, of course, you can see I can move that up and down. And that is mobile, meaning you can you know, move it up to your line of sight or just get it down and out of the way. But this is showing you that you're broadcasting. Pro tip, orange you glad you checked the waves before you clicked on that. You may notice in your broadcast box here, those little waves up the top are orange. When the waves are orange, it means that you are actively broadcasting. So if you were to open up your email and somebody's logged into your broadcast and it pops up on your panel, they will see that as well. So when you're done broadcasting for your lesson, for the day, just make sure you go ahead and tap that broadcast box. You can hit stop. And you'll see that those waves now are no longer orange. They are grayed out. You're no longer broadcasting. 
and you can exit the app as well if you like. And when you hit exit, yes, I would like to exit. That app is completely closed. So that has ended your broadcasting session completely. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Please reach out with any of your questions. We love creating content based on the features that you use most and things that you would like to see. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Take care.